Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We will have a series of talk about Selenium automation testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we will talk about the Actions API. So first, the Selenium Actions API is part of Selenium's WebDriver framework, which is commonly used for automi uh, automating web browsers. This Actions API allows users to perform complex user interactions on web pages that may not be achievable with simple commands. The Actions API provides a way to simulate more advanced user interactions, such as uh, mouse interactions, so this can include actions like clicking, double clicking, right clicking, dragging and dropping, hovering over elements, and so on. We can also simulate other actions such as keyboard interactions, and this might involve uh, keyboard events like typing text, pressing keys like enter or tab, or a combination of different keys such as control C, control V, and so on. So, here, the Actions API in Selenium WebDriver is usually used in conjunction with the Actions class, and this is just a basic example of that. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to create an instance uh, for the WebDriver. And right here, we use new Chrome driver. Following that, we're going to use the driver to fetch a URL. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to use the driver to find an element on that URL. And right here, we, we find that element by its ID. Following that, we're gonna have the, the Actions API and we're gonna use the Actions API. So in this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to move an element. And so we create a new Actions instance with the Actions class that we mentioned above uh, using this initialization right here. And then we use the Actions API to move the element and this basically simulates more advanced user interactions with the web page. And so the Actions API allows you to create more complex interactions, which can be useful in automating web applications that require such actions. Next, I'm going to show you some code that we wrote to use the Actions API in our Selenium test with Java. So first, I want to point out two things. Uh, and that's we imported the actions and the point importer uh, input right here. And if you want to use it, you have to import both of these. And so with that, we can go and we can look at the different functions and methods that we created to use the actions API. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to show you the first function that we have. And so the stuff that I'm scrolling past here is just the standard stuff where we're setting up extent HTML reporter and we're creating a uh, Chrome options, we're creating a web driver, uh, and so on. So we'll skip that because we mentioned it earlier in the other videos. And we're going to go straight to here, our first method that we're interested in. And it's called mouse pause. And this method uh, is basically the whole essence of it is we want the mouse, our mouse, to go to a specific location on the URL and click it and hold the click. And so I'm going to walk through what we have here. So we go to this ADM Lucid website right here and we're going to wait for eight seconds for the web page to load. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, web element that we, we defined here as text2 and we're going to click and hold on that web element. And that's essentially what this mouse pause does. The next thing I'm going to show you is called drag drop. And this one is essentially we want to drag an element on the web page to a different location on the web page. And in this one, we're going to use this web page right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define two web elements. The first one is the web element that you want to drag. And the second one is the web element that you want to drop at. And we perform that right here with the actions uh, command and we're going to do drag and drop from the draggable to the droppable. The third thing we have is copy and paste. And again, the whole purpose of this one is you want to copy and paste specific elements on the page. And so what we have is we have this web page right here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to find this text field and we're going to copy what we have in the text field uh, by the commands we have here. So after we do that, we're going to paste and yeah, that's essentially what it does. Now, the third one, uh, the next one we have here is called scroll. And basically what this does is it goes to the web page and it scrolls all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to do it at this web page. And we do that by specifying scroll right here. And so that is the sort of introductory code that we wrote to use the Actions API. In order to test this, we created another test class right here. Now I'm going to show you how we can use these different methods in this test class that we created called Actions API underscore Chrome. And so first I'm going to test the, uh, we test the four different methods here. First, I'm going to test the mouse pause method. Go ahead and uncomment this, and I can go ahead and run. So it creates a pop-up, uh, and I'm going to drag it open. And we see that over this text area, it's going to click and hold over the text field. So we don't see it yet, but yeah, right there. So it click and held this text field right here, and then it entered ABC. So that's what it was supposed to do, and it did it. Next, I'm gonna uncomment, copy paste. I'm gonna skip drag drop for now because this one takes a little bit long to run, so we'll run it as the last one. So I'm gonna uncomment this, copy paste, and I'm gonna run it again. Again, this is gonna create a Chrome pop-up that I will drag over. I'm gonna maximize it, and we see it copied some text and it pasted it over into this text area right here. Next, I'm gonna show you how scroll works. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncomment this. Go ahead and run Actions API again. And I opened this up, um, and basically what it did was it scrolled from the top of the web page to the bottom of the web page right here. Because originally it was like this, and it scrolled like that. Finally, I'm gonna show you how this drag drop works. So I'm gonna uncomment that. We'll go ahead and run that. So it opens this web page here and it wants to drag this element here and drop it over here. I'm gonna pause the video for now because it's gonna give it some time to run and I'll be right back. And yeah, so now you see that with that function, we we're able to drag the image from this location here over to here. And if we go back to our IDE, we see that this was complete. And so with that, that concludes our little description about Actions API. And I hope you found this video somewhat helpful in understanding how to use the Actions API in Selenium automation testing. If you enjoyed the video, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you next time.